here's the difference between men and women when it comes to dating. When a guy goes on a date with a girl, he's looking for a reason to qualify her. Oh, yeah. uh, you know what? She's kind of fat, but she's nice. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't like her hair, but you know what? She seems really cool. Or uh, I like her shoes. Like guys go on a date looking for a reason to qualify the girl, right? When girls go on dates or when girls talk to men, they're looking for a reason to disqualify you. And it could be the smallest thing. Oh, his shoes don't match. Oh, I don't like his belt. Oh, he sounds kind of weird. Like girls are looking to disqualify men because they have so many options versus men don't have as many options. So they're looking to qualify any girl. Experience well, I think a lot have. of it is really just confidence. I think that's really what it comes down to is getting experience, going to the gym, being the best version of yourself. Of you course, yeah. Uh, but I feel like a lot of people just kind of get stuck where they feel like even if they do that, they're still not going to be attractive. But imagine, Graham, yeah. the guy that's raised by a single mom, right? Mm -hmm. He has no one to look up to. He's going through school. It sucks. He's depressed. Like that guy has no hope unless he has a change of person that he meets, for example, or he sees a YouTube video that changes his life. Yeah. The guy's stuck. So unfortunately, most people are in that box. And we also live in a gynocentric society where we push the female experience over the male experience. We tell men to, you know, be more feminine, be nice, get in touch with your feelings and all this other, you know, soft stuff. And the reality is that men need to be more masculine now than ever before. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is that, see, we live in a society, right, where we lie to men and tell them, get in touch with your feelings, be nice, be soft, etc. Girls even say this, oh, open up to me. But the reality is they want a guy that's traditionally masculine, strong, and stoic. Women don't want guys that are feminine and emotional like them. But see, I feel like as long as you pick a lane and you stick with it and you're congruent yeah. with that and you yeah. believe in that, people are drawn to that because you are your true self, whether that's a little bit more feminine, more masculine, somewhere in the middle. If you pick something, you're like, this is who I am, take it or leave it. Congruency. It's that sort of confidence and that unwavering ability to say, this is who I am. That's a masculine people, trait though. Being congruent, but, sticking to but, your guns is a masculine trait. But couldn't you say, even if you're more feminine, that maybe that's that airs more on that side of that? Oh, then you'd be congruent by yourself. What girls wouldn't that? accept that so like yeah. so like women don't so the thing is is that girls will sit there and say get in touch with your feelings be more feminine whatever but the reality is that they're not attracted to that what we've come to learn because we've interviewed over two thousand women on our show yeah. now right we looked at studies we've talked to thousands of men no one has spoken to more modern day women than we have in the west what i've come to realize this alarming discovery is that Women will say one thing, but actually do something else or respond completely differently to things that were that are unconventional that guys typically don't think is attractive. For example, mm -hmm. a girl will say, I like nice guys, but the reality is she's chasing the guy that doesn't call her back, that doesn't sit there and negotiate with her and doesn't give her attention. But the guy that gives her all the attention, takes her on four dates, gives her flowers, but treats her like same, a princess. But that's the same with a guy. A guy, most men would trace would 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 go after the woman who's not calling them back, who's playing hard to get, who's seeing you know. Maybe I think most guys, guys would be happy jealous. to get anything. They don't even get. They don't I, even but, have the option to. But, be, to but do between that. the two, if you have someone who's calling you all the time, who's always wanting to hang out, versus someone else who's maybe like having their own life, they're doing their own things, they're not calling you back all the time. I think that's just a human trait. No, it's it's definitely more female, and the reason why it's more female is because women have way more options for men, right? If a girl's calling you all the time, being annoying. That's one thing, but most guys don't even have that experience. Like only a small percentage of men are in a position where they're able to filter out women like that. You're calling me too much. Get out of here. That's a small percentage of guys. Most guys can't even get a date. Most guys can't even talk to a girl. It is know? so bad that like guys are resorting to like sex robots. And like mm -hmm. think about it. The whole OnlyFans economy is built off of men not getting sex. Why is that? It's the current market they would they would live in. And as well, most guys know it is, bro. They want a girl, but they don't know how to get a girl. Mm -hmm. So what do yeah. they do? Jerk off. Go watch a, a sex movie. It's just sad, bro. Yeah, it's really sad. I feel like a lot of people get to a point of that where eventually they get tired, and that's when they make a change. There's, there's got to be some catalyst for them to, to want to make a change from what from watching porn or no, not necessarily watching porn. I think it's more so of, of being unhappy with your current life and wanting to make a change and, and oh yeah, a, and seeing an outcome of that. Of course, of but course. You, you, you but, have to find a way out, though. Yeah, and but most people can't find a way out because they don't know how to. Yeah. Well, I think I think a lot of that just comes down to just discipline and and pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. Oh, and by the way, you guys, this clip is sponsored by Fizz. They're giving you a free ten dollars when you sign up. They're a debit card that also helps build your credit. So if you're interested in doing that, the link is down below to get started. The first one thousand people get ten bucks. So enjoy.